Hey YouTube friends and family, how's everybody doing? I hope you're all doing great. I wanted to get on here. I had a bit of a shock. I received a phone call from one of our YouTube sisters in Washington State and she informed me that I was on TV, on the news. On uh, MSNBC, the raw story. Actually, what it was was a couple clips from one of my videos pertaining to the trucker strike. And the raw story with Ed Schultz, he has an uh, article or his show titled Ed Schultz Challenges Striking Truckers. What in the hell have Republicans done for you? I was shocked. I certainly was. And quite frankly, I wasn't pleased. I mean, I certainly don't want to be on television, let alone uh, affiliated with any news group because I don't trust any of them. They always chop things up just like they did my video, they give little clips of it. They don't give the whole story, never the whole story, not the whole truth. But that's the game they play. I listened to his program and I took instant note of the way he was turning this into a Republican thing, as if the truckers were going on strike because of the Republicans or because of the Democrats. And I thought to myself, here, here this man has his own program, the raw story, and he hasn't got the common sense that God gives most people. What's going on in America has nothing to do with parties. It's not about the Democrats. It's not about the liberals. It's not about the, the Republicans. It is about the whole lot of them. We have the Republicans and the Democrats that can't sit down over a table and have a discussion, a discussion that would better serve the entire country, all of America and the people residing therein. They can't do that. We might ask ourselves why. Well, for one, there's too many lies being told, too many cover-ups, too many scandals, it's all a play for votes. It quit being about the people quite some time ago. The status of the United States right now is very shaky. It's in a sad state. When people go out and they work, and they work hard, but they don't get a fair wage, oh, the number might lo look good. I mean, maybe they make nine fifty an hour, but when they go to the grocery store, that nine fifty vanishes very quickly, especially if they have to stop and get gas on the way. You know, Ed needs to take time to go and read the executive orders. All the executive orders that our President Obama has signed. That's a hair raiser. I would suggest that every American go and read every executive order that has been signed by Obama. It's not about parties. It's not about any one specific person. It's the whole lot of them. Our government is way out of line, way out there. It's a mess. You know, when they can't sit down and discuss something as important as the national debt, national deficit, they can't sit down and discuss 
how things need to be done for the betterment of the country and its people. Not that they ever have. I, I really don't know if they have. It seems like this has been a muddy slide for a long time. Well, right now we're just about ready to, to slide into the cesspool. And yet the Republicans and the Democrats, governed by the leader, can't sit down and get their ducks in a row. The independent truckers, the one thing I will say about Ed's program aired today, 10-8-2013, is that he did bring up some good points. The independent truckers are running on wages or, or uh, pay that hasn't changed in years. And yet cost of living has gradually just been going up, 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 up. Obamacare is a mess. Absolute mess. It's not a fair program, although it will work for some people. There will be some people that could benefit from Obamacare, but there are a whole lot more people that won't. So it's not a fair program. It's not something we should be pleased with. You know, Ed Schultz said, uh, if you're a trucker, may I ask you tonight, what the hell have Republicans done for you? Well, you know something, Ed? What the hell has our government done for us? They're trying to take away every right, every freedom, that Americans have had for years. They blame the law-abiding citizens for crimes that are taking place that have nothing to do with the law-abiding citizens. Not a thing to do with them. So what has the government done for us, Ed? Really? You know, you ranted and you raved in this, and you keep trying to make it a Republican thing. That it's about the Republicans. You also said that of all the truckers, if this strike does take place, and what did you say, 3,000 truckers or 3,500 truckers? I forget now what you said, Ed. But you said that of all them, they were probably all packing weapons, right? Isn't that what you said, Ed? How would you, th how would you know that, Ed? What would make you think that, Ed? See, let me tell you something about this ride for the Constitution, Ed. These guys are taking action. They're not sitting on their rumps or standing behind a camera like you, Ed, trying to cause distension. They're trying to solve an issue. They're trying to put some sense back into our government, trying to maybe shake them up a little bit, make them understand that the American people, the people of this country, you remember them, Ed, don't, don't you? We the people, we don't like the way things are being done, Ed. None of us like it. We don't like the way things are going. We don't like that our police officers and our sheriffs and our military are going <laughs> array. We don't like that they're barging into our homes, breaking doors down, accusing innocent people of doing things they're not doing. Brutality, police brutality. These are civil servants. They are to serve the people. We, the people, Ed. 
I suspect that you ride one side of the fence, Ed. You don't look at the whole picture, which makes you very bad at your job, Ed. You're not telling the whole story. I don't know who does your investigating, but you do a bad job at that too, Ed. You certainly do. Because if you investigated this, if you really did what a reporter is supposed to do, oh, let me see here. Reporters aren't allowed to do that anymore, are they, Ed? Oh, gosh, I'm sorry, Ed. You're not allowed to get the whole story and tell the truth. No, you can't do that, can you, Ed? Because if you do, something horrible might happen. You're a very bad reporter, Ed. You certainly are. You need to get the facts. The ride for the Constitution is a peaceful movement, Ed. It's a way for the American people, the truckers, the bikers, the veterans, the people, the overpassers. It's a way for all of us to voice our disagreement, our disgruntled feelings with our government and their poor behavior. So tell me something, Ed. What has the government done for you? You know, friends and neighbors, I would highly suggest that each and every one of you go and Google the executive orders. I highly suggest that each of you read them. If you don't understand them, Ask somebody for help to better understand everything that's said. The laws that are being put into effect are not for we the people. This ride for the Constitution is very valuable. And while we're at it, you know another thing come up. T.N. Mama Bear put out a video, Trucker Strike Not Cancelled, TPTB Resort to Lies. I'm going to put the link for her video down below. I ask each and every one of you to go watch this and click on the link that she shares with you that will take you to the story in the Web Pro News slash life, trucker protest canceled. Not that I know of. If you go over to their Facebook page, you will find that Truckers Ride for the Constitution now has 85,937 likes. Way to go, guys! 85,937. Ed, are you still listening? I hope you're paying attention. So, the article that you're going to read in Web Pro, Web Pro Life, or Web Pro News forward slash life, sorry about that, guys, is absolutely not accurate. Now there's another good reporter, Jennifer Cura. Jennifer C U R R A A Cura. Bad reporting, girl. Did you get all your facts? Not so. As near as I know, the trucker protest, the ride for the Constitution is still very much alive. I'm also going to put a video down below that was put out by HB Trucks. 
HBTRUX, Truckers Unite, and All Americans. Uh, definitely worth the listen, guys. Definitely worth the listen. This is a peaceful movement. And uh, let's keep it that way, guys. Let's keep it that way. I really hope that the Americans that question this or people that aren't sure about what's happening take time to do your own research. Just do a little homework. Google. Google your questions. Get some answers. Because this is about all of us. It's about we the people. It's about a government that can't even get their ducks in a row. It's not about parties. It's about a group of people that cannot sit around a table and put all the facts on the table and work out a decent budget. They'd rather be out playing golf. Are you listening, President Obama? No, guys. I wasn't happy when I saw the Ed Schultz show and the way he chopped my video, the way he made fun of the truckers, put them down like they were low-class citizens. Very disturbing. Links down below, guys. You know what? It's about we the people. It's about our country. It's about our rights. It's about our freedom. It's about our Constitution. For whatever that's worth. That was ruined a long time ago. It's about peaceful. Peaceful. And that's who we are. There's no better way to say it than to just drive down the road. I'll catch you guys later. Much love and great big hugs. For now, you got Mistake, also known as the True Ray. And I'll catch you all next time around.